have right to praise yes, God. Yes, yes. Good God Almighty. Yes. All right now. <laughs> my, my. <laughs> my, my. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Thank you, God. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us
And Jesus was moved with compassion. And put forth his hand and touched him and said, I will be thou clean. As he had spoken, immediately the leper departed from him, and he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him, and forth will send him away.
it seems like your best was not good enough. Yeah. Think about those times when you and I may have even pondered throwing in the towel. Somebody ought to say, I've been there and done that. Think about those times when it seems like life was merely an uphill journey and the top was never seen. But also I want us to think about those times when God truly made a way for us. Think about those times when, when, when it seems like God stepped in right on time. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. Anybody remember, amen, when it seems like, amen, that the doctor said one thing and God said another thing. When the dealership owner said one thing, but God said another thing. And you just could not keep it to yourself, amen. There are times in our lives, amen, when God, amen, certainly proves himself yeah. as being an omnipotent God. There are times when he certainly proves himself as being an omnipotent God. Amen. I wonder how many of us, amen, realize just, just how important it is and how relevant it is to who we are and to what we are that we find time in our lives for the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, we're living in a time when we are some busy people. It seems like we're so busy running here and running there and keeping up with this and keeping up with that. And I want y'all to know I had folk that called me this week. And, uh, 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 they, they went ahead and said, Pastor, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be at church Sunday because uh, this is the last chance for me to take a vacation. And I got to go to the beach or I got to go to the mountains. Amen. But I how many of us, amen, would, would be so mindful to make sure that we spend some time mm. with the Lord? Amen. amen. Every you morning. See, you, you, you see, church, you got to understand, amen, that, that you cannot make it by yourself. Amen. amen. You can't make it, and I can't make it, and I want you to know that I find that the more time that I spend with God, the more time that God spent with me. Can I get a witness? Amen. I find that just to be in tune with an almighty God gives me a sense of purpose that I had no knowledge of. Amen. 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 And I want us to understand that all of us goes through some things. All of us. Amen. Yes. And I know that I know that if we would look at this man, none of us, amen, would, we would say that you had anything that would be even close, remotely compared to what one went through who had leprosy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But isn't it ironic, amen, okay. that in the midst of this text, when we examine this text, we will find that Jesus, amen, had been going from one place to another. Amen. He was casting out demons. Amen. Amen. Yep. Amen. He was truly doing what he was sent here to do. Amen. Amen. But in the midst of all of this uh, hustle and bustle and going to a job, I don't know about you, but when I look at how the master had time for this one individual, amen. You see, this individual was not one of the upstanding citizens of the community. He was not one that you would find that would be in the movie theater. He was not one that you would find that would be in big corporate America. He was not one that you would find that would even be an officer in the church. But this man was an outcast of society. Yeah. He was one who because of his disease, because of what was going on in his life. Had to stand afar off. Uh -huh. And uh, if anyone would even get remotely close to him, uh -huh. he had to cry out, unclean. Uh -huh. Unclean. Uh -huh. And so it was that, that, that this is the picture of the man we want to paint today. Uh -huh. Amen. I want us to understand. Amen. I'm trying, I, I don't know why in my spirit, amen. But I can imagine myself, amen. I can Imagine if, 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 if with some of the things that I have gone through, uh, with some of the ups and downs in my life, uh, what if Jesus, I asked Reverend Scott this morning, uh, I said, what if Jesus told you this morning, uh, don't say anything 
revelation about where I've brought you from. Don't say anything about what I've delivered you from. Don't say anything about the fact that I made a way for you. The Bible says, and I believe, I believe that in my spirit, I believe that this man had had some sleepless nights. This man, uh, leprosy was not only a disease that uh, faced you on the outside, but y'all know how it is. Anybody ever been through anything? Amen. And there was one thing that it was wearing on you on the outside. Amen. You were trying to keep a straight face. And you was trying to make folk believe that it was nothing going on. Y'all, anybody ever been there and done that? Somebody always say, yeah, Pastor, I did Yeah, Pastor, thing. I did the same thing, yes. You were only smiling because you keeping trying to keep from crying. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anybody know what it is to put on a smiling face and your heart is crying tears yes. all at the same time? Yes. This man, according to ancient custom and according to ancient belief, there was no recourse for this man. There was no healing for this man. There was no help for this man. I'm trying to take y'all somewhere. I'm trying to remind the church, amen. I'm trying to remind us today, amen, just how good God has been to us, just how much God has blessed us. And there are some things that you ought to not be able to keep yours to yourself, amen. Some of us live a Christian life, amen. Some of us live like somebody has read us our Miranda rights, amen. You know the part that says you have a right to remain silent. Can I get a witness, amen? And so you just decide that you are going to remain silent, amen. But I want you to know something today, White Oak. Trouble has not forgotten about where you live. Trouble still remains how you act when you go through something. You gotta praise God while you have the chance because you might not have the chance anymore. I believe it in my spirit that out of all this man was going through, that out of all that he was up against, amen, I believe that one day he heard somebody praising God for his marvelous work. I believe he heard somebody giving thanks to God. I don't know it, but I can imagine in my mind he may have heard the woman with the issue of blood how she talked about I walked around, good God Almighty, hemorrhaging, amen but this man Jesus he came by and I just touched the hem of the God and my blood is dried up in me. I can imagine that he may have heard it from the boy that was born blind from his birth, the good God of mine, saying I'd never seen the sunshine, I'd never look out at night and see the moon, but this man Jesus, he came by and he took clay after he spit on the ground and he touched my eyes and where I once was blind, I now can see good God. Yes. Somebody ought to be willing to be a witness for the Lord. Good God Almighty, I can imagine in my mind that this man began to think to himself, I don't know why, but I believe that if I can just get to this man Jesus, I believe if it would be his will, because you got to understand, sometimes what we want and what God wants for our yes. life is not the same. They're thing. not. They're you not. Yes. You got to be thanking God and praising God for your healing. Yes. You so In good. advance. I wasn't so right that God had to heal us. Good God Almighty. The same thing that He healed you from. You got to remember somebody left here because of the same thing. You are to pray. God for your healing. You ought to pray God for your deliverance. You ought to pray God for your know. Yes. And you away for yes. you. And I get a witness. Yes. And yes. I don't know about you, but I believe yes. this man, he kept it on his mind. Yes. I don't care what these people say. Yes. They can run me out of time. But one of these days, one of these days, 
day that old pot will be passed by. Yes! Man, why can you say that? I believe he might say something like this because my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend, but I'm going to hold it on Jesus' name. I just believe it in my mind that he just kept waiting, kept watching, kept looking, believing that one of these old days, I don't know when and I don't know where, but I believe that I'll get close enough. If you hold on, hold on. Because God don't change oh, your name. Yes. I'm going to tell somebody right now. Uh, you may still be going through, uh, but don't give up. Uh, don't give just up. Keep just believing. keep believing. Uh, keep reaching. Uh, keep testifying. Uh, hold on to your faith. Uh, keep knowing uh, that one of these old days, uh, it may be uh, when the cry sings, uh, but one of these old days, uh, it may be. Uh, Good God of mine, when the preacher preaches, yes. but one of these old days, it may be early in the morning, but one of these old days, good God of mine, it may be late in the midnight hour, but one of these old days, one of these days.